tech stocks to avoid in year one of Biden's presidency. That's your pal, Biden. Remember you said earlier? Sure. Mm. Yeah. I'll, I'll take him as a friend any day. The president? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. He might be able to pull some strings for you. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> New regulations and policies could slow down the blazing growth of Tesla and others. Now, this is a bit interesting to me because, well, they name a couple different ones. This is the street.com, by the way. Investment, stocks, business. Now, they name a couple companies here that that stood out to me. Facebook is one and uh, Tesla's the other. Probably Tesla st st uh, stood out to me the most. Because a lot of people think, okay, you got this Biden in there, and he's got all kinds of environmental plans, right? He shut down the pipeline over there, supposedly. He's going to shut that down, and then over there. I'm talking halfway across the continent. Yeah. Uh, he also has all kinds of gr uh, green-type initiatives, environment things. You would think, huh, Tesla. Emissions? Not, not so much. Mm-hmm. Tesla, uh, sustainable, electric, Biden. Okay. They like each other. What are we going to do here? Does he hate Elon? That's right. Yeah. No, that's not it. Didn't invite him to his birthday party. I mean, he might. Something? He might. I, I, don't, I don't think he should, but he might. I don't know. Hate, you know, hate leads to anger. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and then what? Anger leads to... No, anger leads to hate. Hate leads to... I'm trying to do the Yoda thing. What is it, man? Gee. What is it? Fear is the path. To, fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. And hate leads to suffering. All right. Somebody tell Joe Biden. <laughs> somebody tell Joe Biden. Somebody tell Elon, not, too. Not me, though. Anyway, no, here's That's the problem scary. with Tesla. Here's the problem with Tesla, according to okay. this article. The problem is around autonomous driving. Apparently, Biden brings in this guy, Pete. But but a but a gig. Pete but a gig. He, the incoming Department of Transportation chief, and apparently he's big on the public safety stuff, and he m might have stiff regulatory plans as far as self-driving vehicles. That he might put some new regulation in, some new roadblocks for the adoption and implementation application. Self-driving, which I, you know, that's one of the big advantages that Tesla has. Mm -hmm. Because everyone else has got their electric product now, right? I mean, I got the electric product uh, from Porsche, which is an automaker that isn't Tesla. Mm -hmm. We just had the electric Mustang in the studio. We ride electric, uh, was it cycles? Uh, so those are those are nine bot. Those are I think it's a Xiaomi product. Yeah, they're electric. Yeah. Oh yeah, we got all kinds of electric you know? going on. Yeah, but we don't have any autonomous. Autonomous Tesla, Tesla autonomous. Right now, other brands are working on things, but it's not to the same extent. They're not as close or immediate. And so the feeling here is that, I suppose there's that regulatory aspect, but also the fact that that stock has been just. Banana Town, as I've said in the past, and covered here in the show many times, the stock is just wild to begin with. So maybe it. Now, don't I, I'm not giving you financial advice at the moment, but this is just speculation from the street that it might be a surprising outcome with the Biden thing relating to Tesla. Hmm. Now, also as far as Facebook is concerned, apparently they want to bring in some kind of regulation there, and you know the whole thing with big tech. They've been looking at it closely. And Facebook is one of those targets. So that's another company that could be impacted, make investors worried. Mm. You know, regulation comes along.